Hi guys, it's uh, Adam here from Moya, and Gray's in the yard part over here. What's up? He's not really going to talk much. Um, as you can see, I'm starting off pretty much in a bl uh, blank Unity project. I got one example here that I will show later. Um, and pretty much in order to start start with my tutorials, you need to know basic JavaScript already. Very basic, how to... What the hell just happened? Alright, there we go, that's all done. Um, I don't know if you can see that, my screen just spazzed on me. But, um, basic JavaScript, you can write your own script for anything that's easy, basic, nothing too advanced. Uh, and then you can easily convert your knowledge into C Sharp. It's not that hard once you learn all these syntax basics I'll show you here. So to start off, make a new script. Obviously make it C Sharp. Sorry, my computer's really slow. And rename it to whatever you want, so I'm going to name this tutorial. Now, something important is you should copy that. So I just highlighting Control C. There's my computer being slow. And the reason you copy it is once this opens up, right here it creates a public class, which is pretty much the script. I'm not sure in all the syntax what it's all called and stuff for C sharp, so I'm not going to really get technical on it, but just replace the new behavior script right here with the name of the, uh, that script, otherwise you'll get a whole bunch of errors. And um, now you're ready to start scripting in uh, C Sharp. And over here in JavaScript example 1, I have an example script all ready to go, which I'll show you right now. Just got the button that says show label and it toggles the label button down below. Very basic script. You can see it all here. And both of these scripts will be available on the website. Um, now, we'll just copy parts from this and send them over. So I can get rid of all that right there. Paste that right there. Um, some things you have to realize is uh, they do not have functions in um, C Sharp, but they have, uh, don't know the syntax term for it, but pretty much instead of writing function, you write void with or int or float, and pretty much that's what it returns as. If it would return as nothing, if the variable in it would return as nothing, so things like update, on GUI, any of the main stuff like that, and uh, pretty much most of the things you do are going to be void. Rare cases will you use anything else. I can't think of any. So don't worry about that for now. If I figure out what they're used for exactly, I'll tell you later. So replace out void. If statements are all the same, the only difference is when you make a rectangle, like on the GUI, you always need to write new. It otherwise will come up with uh, some common compiling errors and I don't know why C sharp's just stupid like that you have to write new um, then for writing the variable for uh, show the label you have to change the way you write it a little bit um, in JavaScript you write private var show label colon boolean equals false and this you would do private and in a boolean case, boolean, boolean, whatever you want to call it, instead of writing out the word, you only type in boo, B-O-O-L. Um, just shortens it. And in Unity, or Unity script, JavaScript, whatever you want to call it, whenever you write a variable, of, say I wanted to do an integer instead of float, you'd always have to write lowercase, or, I think. Excuse me as I ponder my thoughts. I lie. Don't listen to me. Yes, great. You can laugh at that one. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyway. 
Say it to me. Shut up now. <laughs> anyway, um, so you have to change also the way you write it. So normally you'd go, next you would write var, they do not do that. You declare the var right away. It declares it by itself. I don't know exactly how it does it. Magic, I guess. But, uh, so you put the, what kind of variable it is next, and then you put the name of the variable. So, we're going to go show label. Then you have to put what it equals. There's no colon. If it was to end here, you would just do that. Uh, enter the semicolon to end it. Otherwise, I'm just going to do equals false. And that should be done. An important note is that you have to declare the variable after the public class. And it cannot be inside of any functions. Actually, that's a lie. It can. Yes, I'm messing up here. And let's see here if I have any compiling errors. Error in 16. So let's take a guess here. Uh, that's why I put the new in the wrong spot. Yay, Camtasia's working. Yay, he just downloaded a program I'm using right now. Alright, so there. Now everything here is transferred over to JavaScript, or to C Sharp from JavaScript. Um, to show you it works. Oops, did not mean to open it again. Drag and drop. Remove. Pretty much everything is that easy to transfer. Um, I will be writing more tutorials in C Sharp. Uh, my next tutorial I'm working on is all in C Sharp and will be pretty cool. I think it's going to be like a three part tutorial, maybe more, maybe less, give or take. Um, I'll also be doing tutorials um, on more visual things like modeling and texturing and normal mapping. And uh, I don't want to take over Adam's thing, but um, we're going to be doing that and everything. There's going to be a lot of update videos on this channel, and I hope you guys enjoy that. And also remember to check the website when we have it up. I will put a link on to this uh, video when it's done. I'll put all the links in all my videos. There you can stay caught up with all our other games with our tutorials. For example, I will have all my scripts I use in tutorials. So these two will be up on there and I'll have direct links to those plus a link to the main website. Um, and we'll probably throw up some models from tutorials or textures or something on the website as well. So that's pretty much it. I'll catch you guys later.